you were obviously the uh, the creative genius behind this uh, this whole endeavour. What what was what was the inspiration? When I was young, uh, I obviously experienced the '82 conflict. I was absolutely fascinated by it. I've been fascinated by it ever since. I can remember the major incidents, but in particular, I recall Parliament being recalled on a Saturday morning to discuss sending the task force to the South Atlantic. That kind of blew me away. It's not something that happened. It happens regularly now, of course. But in those days, we didn't go to war. We weren't at war. People that joined the forces didn't expect to go to war. So it was quite an incredible thing. And it really captured my imagination. I've followed it ever since. And the opportunity came up to work with the forces to bring a group down here and uh, undertake this project to raise money for the Benevolent Fund. I'll just give you an orientation of where we're going next. Okay, essentially all these, all these hills that you see here, sort of a, a central spine of all these hills that runs directly into Stanley. And uh, they can be seen visible on the map, okay, through all this high ground here. But the route we're going to be taking is on the other side of those hills, okay, along the road, uh, replicating the 4-5 Commando Yom, and we'll basically head east along the road, all the way up to our first RV, which is New House. Are you also, have you, have you deserted? No, no. We just, we just realised we get there too early if we're not careful. We age business leaders within the RF community and a chap called Graham Shanklin, this year's captain, came up with a cunning plan which was to walk across the Falklands following the route of 4-5 Commando from uh, San Carlos, over there, to Port Stanley, over, over there. there. Okay. Over there. Very good. Over there. Over there somewhere, yes. Okay, yes. very good. Raising money for the RAF Benevolent Association and the Benevolent Fund. Which is a fund that uh, looks after ex RAF servicemen. Particularly, we're raising money to build some rehabilitation units for uh, servicemen who have been injured in the line of service. What, what do you feel now about the the yacht that the uh, the Marines and the, the paratroopers did uh, back in 1982? Well, I, I I'm of the age where 1982. I was second year at university, and I remember it very very clearly, and was really inspired by what the Marines did there. But I have to say, having spent uh, a day walking here, I have absolute and complete respect for for what they did. Someone else was screaming for me then. It was the platoon sergeant. He had been hit badly, shot in the thigh. I jumped up and ran across to him. And as I got to him, I was hit. I was just about to kneel down beside him when a bullet hit the centre of my rifle, which was across my stomach in the approved manner, ready for action. If I hadn't been holding the rifle in the manner which I had been teaching people for years, I would be dead by now. The bullet ricocheted off the barrel and went through my right hand. Tambini, Sergeant Simmon and I had been shot in one line by the same sniper, I think. I had just received a letter from my wife to say that she was pregnant, and this went through my mind. I thought I was going to be next. There was nothing I could do about it. That sniper was good. I would like to admit him. Coming into the final few hundred yards into Stanley. Five and a half days. How far to walk? It has been a bone of contention exactly how many miles, but somewhere between 75 and 79. It's been a tough old walk. sense it on the ground and in the air and particularly when, when you left from San Carlos we were in the cemetery you get a real sense